tonight I want to tell you about a handy dandy app for War Thunder called Tactical Map. Now, a, there's a Gaijin product called War Thunder Assistant. There's a ton of apps for War Thunder, how many displays and how much room you've got on your screen. But the one I have come to depend on is Tactical Map. First, it's the most popular. It, it doesn't have a lot of stuff besides just the map. And uh, Google Play, War Thunder Tactical Map, all this crap comes up. You get Tactical Map, uh, third party overlay, and it's installed. But you're not going to install it on your computer. You're going to install okay? it. You can just install it on your phone. Tablets are a little better. I have a Samsung Tab, Galaxy Tab E tablet. Don't use for much. It's, uh, I don't pay AT&T for it anymore. It's paid off, but I don't even have phone service to it. I just use it on the Wi-Fi. And it's a Wi-Fi connection. And you're going to want to download it to your phone or your tab, okay? The tablet and here it is and uh, what it'll do it uh, through a Wi-Fi or USB connection it connects to your computer and to the game through for the port depending on what your local IP address is you have to know that um, and then the port is 8111 and like I say, this um, this is absolutely legal. In fact, you have to have the anti-cheat running to be able to uh, now, use it. This is what it'll look like. I can see I got my tab E here, and I even bought it a nice little stand. Spent uh, twenty bucks at the suction cup stand it's right in front of my display. Um, It'll, when, while the game is, while War Thunder's opening, if you have this open, uh, War Thunder's opening on your display on your main computer, this will say disconnected. But as soon as it, the game opens, this will say connect. And now it's waiting for you to find and choose a battle. Once you choose a battle, boom, the map, map pops up on the screen. And this is an easy, you know, spread your fingers, close your fingers, uh, touch screen kind of zoom and unzoom. Now, on the newer maps, I'm thinking Port Morrisby, there was a couple other, the grid patterns are right on. This has some remnants of arcade or realistic in it. It doesn't get the grid patterns right. What it does get is the positions of uh, bases, uh, your bases, uh, uncovered enemy bases, uh, the uh, the mini base targets, bombing targets, the A point, and I'm just I have come to depend on it because all I have to do is glance down. I I don't have to bring up the map on the screen and not leave the game so in the middle of a fight i can glance down at that map um uh, if you're you know picking up air your airfield you're turning to your airfield looking for an enemy airfield uh looking for ground targets um everything like that yeah getting to the a point just to have a map open war thunder you can zoom map. in incredibly far i just you know I out on the map up all the time without having to change the screen. Anyway, uh, that was just a little uh, hip app that, uh, you know, if you have a, you don't even need a stand on your, on your, on your, ta you know, your tablet. You can just lean it up against something, lean it down on the desk. But uh, it's really a, uh, a nice tool. All right. You guys have fun. We'll see you in the sky, huh?